Use the process of completing the square in order to write each quadratic function in vertex form. Once we've done that, we're going to determine the vertex and domain and range of the function. Okay, so for these examples, we're still going to use completing the square, but our task is different. In this case, we're not trying to solve anything, right? We're trying to take a quadratic that's written in standard form and convert it to vertex form. All right, so in this first example, we have p of x equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. Okay, if we want to get this into vertex form, we want to complete the square just on the first two terms. And, you know, when we were solving equations, we were adding 7 to the other side and all this jazz. We're not going to do that here because it won't serve us to add 7 to p of x on the other side of the equation, right? So here's what we're going to do. Um, when we look at the x squared minus 6x, I see that negative 6, right? I want to divide by 2 and square it. Okay, and so 3 squared is 9. All right, so here's what we'll do. We're going to have x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 7. Okay, so you see what I did there? I added 9, but I also subtracted it. So essentially I added 0 to this equation. So it's the same concept as, you know, what you do to one side you have to do to the other. If I'm adding and subtracting the same value from the same side of the equation, I'm essentially adding 0, which still keeps the equation balanced. Okay, so from there I want to factor just this piece of x squared minus 6x plus 9 and that's going to be x minus 3 quantity squared, right? Factors of 9 that add to negative 6, negative 3, and 3. And negative 9 minus 7 is minus 16. So I have now written this in vertex form. And the vertex is 3, negative 16, right? So we're thinking about the h value of 3 and the k value of negative 16 there. All right, now the domain, this is a quadratic, right? So the domain is all real numbers. Every x value input will have a real uh, y value output. All right, and now, um, what's the range? Okay, so the leading coefficient of this is positive, right? So that means that uh, the function's gonna open up, yes, which means it will have a minimum. Okay, what's the minimum y value? Since the vertex is 3, negative 16, negative 16 is the lowest y value on the function. So the range will be from negative 16, including negative 16, right, up to positive infinity. So with this next example, we have r of x equal to x squared plus 5x minus 4. All right, same story here. I want to take the x squared plus 5x and complete the square on that. So I'm going to add 5x now. 5 divided by 2 quantity squared is 25 over 4, right? Okay, so we're going to add 25 over 4 and subtract it, right, from the same side of the equation. We're just, we have to subtract it as well so we keep the, the equation balanced. And don't forget about the minus 4 out on the end. Okay, now factor the, the trinomial there perfect square trinomial. So we're adding in, in the middle, adding the 5x. So we're going to have x plus 5 over 2, right? That's the b over 2 value or the square root of 25 over 4, however you like to think about it, okay? So we have x plus 5 halves quantity squared um, minus 25 over 4 minus 16 over 4, right? If we get a common denominator there. Okay, so we have x plus 5 halves squared, negative 25 minus 16, negative 41 over 4. Okay, so the vertex is negative 5 halves, right? So we're adding the 5 halves there, so it's shifting to the left. Um, and negative 41 over 4. Okay, now the domain all real numbers, right, for any quadratic. And the range, um, so again, uh, the a value is positive for this example, so we're going to have a minimum there. Okay. And um, the minimum value, y value, is negative 41 over 4, okay, up to infinity, right? 
So um, hopefully you're getting a sense of this with the completing the square process. Um, you're still adding the b over 2 squared. You're adding and subtracting it from the same side of the equation rather than adding it to both sides, using that to manipulate it into vertex form. All right.